Guess who's got two thumbs and a new piece of tech to share with you guys? That's right, this guy. I wanted to share a new piece of filmmaking equipment actually that I got with you guys. And it is the Small Rig Free Blazer tripod. Most tripods that you guys see, they are what we refer to in the film industry as stills or photography tripods. In general, they have to be assembled one leg at a time, either with latches or with some type of kind of twist lock mechanism. This looks really weird on camera. And they have a tripod head generally called a ball head. And this ball head allows you to get whatever kind of orientation, whether it be portrait or landscape, to get the ideal photo that you want. I've owned my current stills tripod. Hold on, let me get it for you guys. Four moments later. This has been the tripod that I've used for well over six years. It came with me to Vietnam. It's been on many motorcycle rides. It's pretty beat up, to be honest with you. It's by a company called KNF, KNF Concepts, but this is a stills or photography tripod. And now that I'm in America and not in Vietnam, and I have a car to bring stuff with me, I can get an actual cinema tripod. It's by a company called Small Rig. In general, they're known for making really, really high quality products at an extremely reasonable price. They're huge all over Asia, India. Small Rig is like the premier company in here, even in the United States. They do a ton of stuff and they're just known for bang for the buck, great quality, and really fulfilling the needs of filmmakers. Now, their new hottest tripod, it's the one I got right now, it's called the Free Blazer Tripod. Now, these tripods are absolutely ridiculous, and we're going to start with the legs. The legs are made of this 3K weave carbon fiber. Yes, real carbon fiber. The legs on this tripod are real carbon fiber. They use one latch, and this is called uh, their Free Speed Opening System. It's kind of a odd name, but it works, free speed. Essentially, you can open and close each leg with only one latch, whereas here with this photography tripod, you have to open and close each of them individually, and it's really a, a pain in the butt. Being able to have these individually open with one lever, huge time saver, and it works extremely, extremely well. Now on the subject of legs, these legs, or like the legs with no tripod head, come out to being 3.7 kilos, or right around seven and a half pounds for all of you Americans. And they will carry 25 kilos, or a little over 55 pounds, 55, 60 pounds. So these legs will carry 50 kilos, and they weigh three and a half. Absolutely awesome weight to strength ratio. The, now the tripod has a working height, meaning the height or lowness is 94 centimeters or 37 inches, and it will go all the way up to 77 inches or 197 centimeters, which is taller than me and I'm six foot one. So this tripod can get pretty low, not that low, but it can get pretty low and it'll get really, really high. Now there is a center level spreader. You can remove it, you can uh, put it back on, but essentially it is a semi-permanent thing. There aren't quick release pins. You need to have a Phillips head screwdriver to take it off. I wouldn't take it on, take it off. The mid-level one works fine. If it was a floor level spreader, maybe you could go uh, a little bit, um, Sorry, if it was a floor level spreader or it was like a removable spreader, you could get a little bit lower, but none of that with these legs. These legs also have this kind of all-terrain spike built into them with a spike cover. If you're gonna go out in the woods filming in nature and you want to have a more stable base on possibly a slippery surface, you might want the spiked feet I don't think I'm ever going to use these spiked feet. Another nice added touch to this tripod is that there's little carry handles right around the top of the tripod head. And uh, talking about legs and top of tripod head, etc., cetera, uh, there's a 75 millimeter bowl. 75 millimeter bowls are not that big as we have bowls going all the way up to 150. Again, I live in a state where cannabis is legal. Talking about bowl size, the jokes write themselves. I chose to get the legs by them themselves during Amazon's Black Friday sale, or not Black Friday, but like their Amazon Prime Day sale, and I got them for 20% off, meaning I got these legs for under $200. Now, I chose not to get the tripod head with 
them, specifically because while the tripod head from small rig isn't bad, I really wanted something more professional. Now, there is kind of a lack of counterbalancing, which if your rig is front or back heavy, you can add some front counterbalance or rear counterbalance. It's something that the more expensive tripod heads do, and you can basically balance your tripod so it doesn't move after you've leveled it. I'm saving up for a nicer, more expensive Manfrotto uh, 504 or, or 608 head, uh, like a Nitro Tech head that has the ability to add some of that counterbalance. The other thing I didn't like about the small rig tripod head is the fact that you didn't have pan tilt drag resistance. So essentially the only way to slow down the pan tilt or how fast the camera goes up like this is to add more resistance to it. And that resistance is the same resistance used to lock it out. So nothing wrong with their tripod head. I would just suggest that you get a good pair of sticks that will last you a while and then really just splurge on the head and get a nicer head because you'll probably end up breaking your sticks or the tripod legs before you break the head. Keep keep a nicer head and that way, whatever tripod you get, you can use a, a nicer, more professional type of head. Okay, all the links where you guys can buy it, peace.